welcome. Putting a PlayStation disc inside the console and seeing the boot screen show up is something that brings a lot of good positive memories to my heart. So let me show you guys how to enable the PlayStation 1 BIOS, the animation that plays before every game, the logo from the Sony and all those stuff. I think you're, you know what I'm talking about. How to do this in Retroarch? At the moment I am using Beetle PCX. It's an emulator slash core that's available inside Retroarch. If a certain core supports the BIOS screen, you will usually find it in the settings of that core. So what do you do? You first have to run the game using that particular core. As you can see, I have Alone in the Dark running for Beetle PCX. First thing I do is I can click on Command and then click Menu Toggle and this will open up. Then I can go to Main Menu and then Quick Menu because this is where the actual settings of this particular core are. I can open Options and this is where I basically set everything up for the core itself. So if you're not looking only for the PlayStation 1 BIOS or for maybe some other BIOS from some other system, you're going to usually find it in these kinds of options. Here is the option we are looking for. It says skip BIOS. Skips the PlayStation BIOS boot animation, normally displayed when loading content. Note, enabling this causes compatibility issues with number of games. PAL, copy protected games, Sega Frontier, etc. So at the moment I do have this enabled and there is no BIOS. So let me turn this off. Next what you have to do is actually close down the retro arc and start it up again. So I'm going to go file, close. We can click close program, no big deal. And let's open up retro arc. This time it starts up, let's play or simply start up any game this time. And there we go, that's called a boot screen. If to some of you guys the sound sounds a little weird, if it's cutting off too early or simply extending for a little longer peri period of time, try to go through quick menu, look through options and see if you can change any of the settings. Here, is the, here are the current settings that I have. So see if you can compare your settings to mine and maybe readjust something. However, if in the comments I see a bunch of requests with a particular problem, I will look into it and make a video about it. So do stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you want to see that as well. But in any case, do leave a comment below if you have any issues and probably somebody will help you out. And that's pretty much it for RetroArch and Beetle PCX. I will be making more videos when it comes to RetroArch because I use it daily. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do consider rating and sharing this video and I will see you guys in future episodes. Priest, signing out. Always do it on my own so I gotta get through it and the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up that's a fact. Never looking back, I'm a